good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma, make sure you subscribe for hauls. I also do lots of vlogs and all sorts of nice, lovely videos. Hopefully you will have seen that I just came back from New York and you want to watch my New York vlog. I will link it above and below. And guys, it's what you've been waiting for. It's what the internet needs. It's what I needed. It's nothing that Stephen needed. But here is my New York haul. So we went over for five days in half term. We had a really lovely time. And I went with specific things I wanted to go over and get. So kind of my rule of thumb was like, if I can get it in England, I don't need to be dragging it back from America. So I got stuff that I couldn't probably get over here. So it's lots of nice treats. I'm looking at what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with the Disney store, first of all. So we went to the Disney store in Times Square, which is a really lovely shop. I will say it's incredibly busy. And you know I had to, I had, oh my gosh, where's it gone? I had to get me a mug, which has, oh here we go. So I got myself a Disney Store New York official mug with a Statue of Liberty on and all kind of like different parts of New York. It was $12.95, so probably around about a tenner, which is kind of standard for a Disney mug and it's nice and big. Will look ace in my collection. Also, as you know, my kids collect Sumsums, so I also wanted to pick up some specific to New York Sumsums. So we got the Statue of Liberty mini some some there we go which was i think that was five dollars and then we got the mickey and mini new york one so mickey is like an apple and mini it's just mini with a t-shirt that says i love new york so i thought those would be really nice for their collections also it came in a nice little tote bag so that's lovely then, another shop that you lot, loads of you wanted me to go to. We don't have these in England anymore if you're watching from a different country. We used to have them. And we used to have one, I think, in Merry Hill, which is a shopping centre not far from me. I went to Sephora. I find Sephora incredibly overwhelming. Like, I get in there and I'm, like, paralysed. Like, I'm never... Because I'm never really sure what I'm supposed to be buying. So I just picked up stuff that I knew I liked. And then one kind of like thing that was a bit of a bargain. So I opted for, I always get this. This is kind of like towards the county, you get like little miniatures. So I got a Daisy um, and a Daisy Love miniature because it's a perfume I wear and it means that I can like have like little miniatures when we go on holiday. So they're really helpful. I also picked up this little Stilla lip kit because I just don't, I don't know, I just panic and I'm like not. I don't want to splash the cash, cash on full price stuff if it's not very good. So we can get Stiller over here, but I've got like a little kit, lip kit with three different um, nudes, which I quite like. However, I've got one on now and it's quite dark, isn't it? But yeah, they're cool to have my handbag. And then I went rogue, guys. And I saw this and it should have been £175 and it was $45. And it's the Tarte Pro Glow and Pl Blush cheek palette so it's just like um bronzers and blushes and i was really in the market for a new blusher so i'm hoping that's going to be really helpful what i'm going to do this week in my vlog coming up next week i'm going to try these products out so you can see if they're any good and loads of you i went onto my instagram and i was like guys what what is one drugstore or chemist makeup that i should not come home without and you all said Physicians formula butter bronzer, so the butter bronzer, and also got the butter blush. You raved about these, and these were about 10 quid each. So, again, I'll try these in my vlogs and I'll let you know how they go. I think you can get them on Amazon, but I just wanted something from the drugstore as well. I got that from Dwayne Reed, which is like a chemist there, there's loads of them everywhere. Right, what else did I get? One of the things we got for the kids, they got their own individual presents, which I'm not showing here, is we went to a shop called Dylan's Candy, which is a really good candy bar. And they both got themselves a little, to put like a little pick and mix each with Dylan's Candy Bar logos on, so that's really nice for them to keep. And I think for the two of them, it was around 15 quid, which is extortionate, but it's a little nice memory for them. And we've been back nearly a week and they're bizarrely not asked to talk into it yet. This is going to be a niche one. A very niche one. I watch a lot of American family vloggers. I love them. 
I love the cleaning videos. I just think they've got this thing about them that is perhaps a bit more real than some of the mummy um, vloggers we've got in England. They're just, I just really like them. And they always talk about Mrs. Myers products. Stephen thought I had full lost my mind. But I was like, I've always, always wanted Mrs. Myers in my kitchen. So I went for Myers, uh, peony scent, multi-surface everyday cleaner, and peony scent dish soap. I know this makes me crackers. And I know I was wrapping it up in the suitcase that I had full lost my mind, but I wanted them. And we're getting our kitchen done, hopefully. Maybe in kind of, we're kind of in the process, so probably done in about three months. And these will be pride of place when they're done. Right, what else did we get? You were all very excited and a little bit disappointed with me when I went to this particular store when we were over there, I popped to Bath and Body Works. And you were like, your bag's too small. Why is it so small? Bath and Body Works candles are amazing. But if they're not on offer, I'm not gonna buy them. Because they're roughly the same price as Yankee candles. Yankee candles are a bit bigger and they're in the place where I live. So I wasn't willing to splash out on candles just because they're from Bath and Body Works when I could get similar or better in England. Unless they're on, if they're on offer, if it was, because like, sometimes you can like, buy two, get two free, cool. But if it's not, if it's full price and they're $24 each, I'm like, eh, eh, eh. However, what I did get, which was six for $18, was hand washes, because I love these hand washes. So I got raspberry tangerine, which smells beaut. I also got first bloom which is like a really nice floral scent. So I got also got one of those for my friend Rachel. And they will probably be in the kids' bathroom because their kids' bathroom's got like tinges of pink and stuff like that. Then for my bathroom, I got Sea Island Cotton, which is gorgeous and smells just like the Yankee Candle, which is like fresh linen or something like that. It's just beautiful. And I got Sun Drenched Peach. So these will be for my bathroom upstairs because they're quite similar to the tiles I've got on the floors. And I've got another Sea Island cotton. You can't go to Bath and Body Works without coming out with a handful of tiny little anti-backs, which I think are, I want to say five for five dollars or five for six dollars or something. So again, I've got one for Rachel. I've got warm vanilla sugar for me as well. I've got for Stephen, fresh water for men, because only men like fresh water. Women like stinking, stinking rotten water. And I got vanilla cream for me. I also picked up for $4 a vanilla buttercream hand cream, because my hands are super dry over there. I don't know if it's all the um, hand gel, like I was completely washing my hands all the time. Because when you go on the subways and stuff and you're out all day, so I don't know if they just got dry because of that. What else did I buy? I went to TJ Maxx. We come on to the main event in a bit, but I'll show you another couple of things. I went to TJ Maxx, which is like TK Maxx in England, but the J is like virtually the same. Loads of the same sort of stuff, but we don't get these in England. We don't get like the little the little signs, which I really, really like. So I picked up a happy Easter sign, which was $4.99. I picked up a never. Happy Easter sandwich, I really liked, which was $6.99. So these will probably go on my shelves in the kitchen or maybe in the fireplace. I really like that, Happy Easter. And then I will store them and I'll get them back out again. And then I got this to my office, which was, good things come to those who hustle. That's how people hustle, I think. me her slim so if you do that good things will come to you if you do those exact movements but i thought that looked cool in my office or my bedroom or somewhere it'll look somewhere good in my house and i did get the most amount of easter sweets in the history of the world we've got all the easter sweets we could get we've got oreos we've got peeps we've got hershey's we've got all sorts of things but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to do a 
UK family, try Easter American candy with kids kind of video because I thought that would be really fun coming up towards Easter. So I'll show you all that in then and we will just try all the different types of candy and you can get the kids reactions. And I thought that would be really cute fun videos for us to do, a little bit different and it's always nice to do fun videos with the kids because they love it and I don't put them on here very often so I thought that would be quite nice. Right, let me get to see, let me get, let me get settled. Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn. I collect Ray Dunn. I love Ray Dunn, I'm getting in closer. I love Ray Dunn, I love the way it looks, I love the way it feels, like ceramics to me make me really happy. People collect shoes, people collect handbags, people can collect cars, people can collect perfumes. I collect ceramics. Mainly Ray Dunn. In England, Ray Dunn is quite rare to find. You can get the odd bit in TK Maxx, the odd bit in Home Sense, but not much. Guys, let's crack on with the Ray Dunn. So, first of all, for $4.50, I got a pen holder which said Inspire. There are different types of Ray Dunn. You can get Ray Dunn with like small type. I like the large letter stuff, so I got Inspire, which was $4.50 in the kind of bargain bit. I got this book. <sighs> Could you imagine if they all just smashed? <laughs> I'd have to close my channel down, I'd be so upset. I got this big bugger, which was $15, and it said Head Chef. This is going to go in my kitchen with all my implements. There was so much beautiful stuff. They had loads of, like, Easter cake sounds, and I just couldn't get them back. But I love that Head Chef. Uh, yeah, so I thought that would look really nice in my kitchen. We also got this, which was $7, and it's a little pot, and it says hold, and I'm going to put my tampons in it, or maybe either my tampons or um, cotton pads. One of the two, one of the two glamorous things, but I really like that. And then I also got this, which says hustle, remember? me hustle <laughs> so i got a hustle as well which is eight dollars this was from marshall's actually so some of some tj Maxx, some was from marshall's this is from marshall's then we get on to the mugs the mugs the bloody bloody mugs so the mugs were all 5.99 we've got zen love it we've got wish we've got explore <laughs> We've got travel. I don't know why I'm doing a little thing with each one. We've got dream. We've got inspire. That has me inspiring. We've got mama. That's me being a mama, I don't know. And I also have got boss, but that's in the kitchen. We packed lightly because I knew I was going to bring, I, like, I knew I had the foresight, I was like, I'm going to bring back loads of bloody Ray Dunn. I'm going to bring it back, so I'm going to pack light, and that was the plan, and that's what happened. We actually were like under half, and we were still under when we came, we came back. So when I go to Florida in August, I'm going to be looking out for the Halloween stuff. That's my kind of fingers crossed goal. Go over to my Instagram and go and check out my Ray Dunn display because I'm going to take, I'm going to put all this away, I'm going to take a photo. People think I've lost my shizzle. But, do you know what? I love it. I love it. It makes me happy. I like the feel of it, like having a mug and I just like the idea of taking photos in different ways. I just love it. It just really, really, really makes me happy and, you know, it's not like it, I just bought eight designer bags. I bought eight mugs. To go alongside my other 400 mugs so that's my new york haul y'all i hope you'll like it i have noticed throughout this video my hair is incredibly long i don't know what's happened i don't know whether to it's just got very long hasn't it so that's that's another exciting development um i hope you liked it i've got my eye on one last thing over there that i'm going to show you so let me go and get it because this probably is the nail in the coffin of the things I buy that make me seem slightly insane. Are we ready, guys? I'm walking over here. I'm picking him up. He's coming back over here. 
I'm trying to sit down. Are you ready? I got a little Gnome. I love Gnomes. They're called Gonks. You know I love my Christmas ones. Erin, as we were leaving, spotted a spring one. Because I said, Erin, at Valentine's Day, they had like Valentine's gnomes. I wish I'd been here. She screamed, Mummy, there's a spring one. Who now lives in my fireplace? Can we name the gnome? If you've got to the end of this video, can you leave a name for the gonk in the description box? In, not in the description box, in the comments. Thank you very much. Right, that's my haul. Go and watch the vlog. I'll be back soon for another upload. I love you lots. Thanks for embracing the fact that I am quite a strange character who likes to buy loads of strange things. I love you lots. Good night.